What's going on y'all? V Brandon Brownson here and I'm doing a wish list for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So if you have not played the game yet, or if you do not want spoilers, I'ma let you know right now there's probably gonna be some spoilers in this video. So you might want to click off it right now because I feel really bad if I spoiled it for you. So the developer of Five Nights at Freddy's said that there is definitely going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And I spent quite a bit of time last night dicking around Reddit and coming up with some different ideas myself. So I thought I'd make a quick video running down some of the things that I would really like to see in a sequel for this game. I'm not scripting this out or anything, I just wrote down a bunch of topics and I'm gonna be reading them and talking about them a little bit. So if this video is kind of rambly or if it's not as well put together as some of my other videos, I apologize. I just want to make this really quick. Anyways, the first big thing on my personal wish list is no free roam. I know a lot of people have been suggesting that free roam be put into the sequel, and I disagree with that strongly. I feel like a huge part of what made Five Nights at Freddy's so scary is the fact that you are stuck where you are. You can't walk around, you can't run away, you have very limited control over what happens, and that really adds to the atmosphere and the paranoia of the game. If you were able to actually, like, walk around and run away and all of that stuff, I feel like it would still be scary scary on some level, but you would lose a huge chunk of what makes this game so special. In Five Nights at Freddy's, most of what you see is pre-rendered stills, and I would really like to see the game be properly modeled and have a live feed camera with movement from the animatronics. While I understand why the developer went with the pre-rendered stills for the first venture out with how popular this game has become, I feel like that would add quite a bit to the game. I mean, we all remember how terrifying it was when we saw Foxy sprinting toward us. Imagine that with some of the other animatronics or some of the new animatronics. Now don't get me wrong, I love the idea of you blink and it moves. I think that that's really creepy but I would also like it if that was used a little more sparingly, or maybe if that was like the special ability of some of the different animatronics. I'd just really like to see more of a move. I'd like to see a huge jump up in what the graphics can do, as in like actual movement and stuff. Another big thing for the gameplay I'd like to see is more camera control. Now you can kind of move the camera left and right, but I'd really like it if you could look up, down, zoom, uh, maybe that would add a little bit more complexity into finding the animatronics instead of just switching to a camera and if you're lucky it's there and not about to pop out and kill you. Speaking of more control, I think it would be really cool if you could manage lights in spots other than the hallways. So let's say there's a completely dark corridor and you flip on the light and you can see one of the animatronics standing there. Speaking of the animatronics, so there are four types of animatronic AIs I would like to see. Passive, Aggressive, Wanderer, and Attention Seeker. The passive ones would be kind of like Chica was in the first game, where the animatronic isn't really going after you at first, but as you progress through the game, it becomes a little bit more active and aggressive. The aggressive ones I see being a mix between Bonnie and Foxy. Bonnie was always the one who bothered you the most, while Foxy obviously had the sprinting toward you, which is probably the most aggressive thing you'll see in the game and also one of the scariest. Wanderers aren't really limited to one side of the area or the other, they just go wherever they please and they get curious. So they'll explore areas that they haven't really checked out. So as the week progresses, eventually they're going to start wandering closer and closer to you until it becomes a threat. And for the attention seekers, I see those being the most like Foxy, where if you don't pay enough attention to them, that sends them straight into aggro mode. So something I think would be really cool for the gameplay, maybe not for like the core game itself, but as something you unlock after you beat the game, I think it'd be really cool if you could upgrade some of the things you have. Upgrade your hallway lights to where it uses up less power, upgrade the doors to where they use less power, maybe include some traps, but make it to where the traps use up a lot of power, so you have to use them really sparingly. Possibly have some upgrades to how much power you have itself, like upgrade your generator, just different stuff like that to add a deeper, 
level to the game while not changing the core gameplay up too much. So one final thing before I go into story and setting, and this isn't anything big, this is just a cutscene I think would be really cool. I'd really like to see a scene where like a group of robbers break in and the animatronics get a hold of them and drag them into a dark room and they get shoved into a suit. Now I understand that shoving them in the suits would probably be quite a bit to animate, so I'm just thinking that they drag them into like the kitchen or something or have all the cameras cut out and you just hear the audio of these guys getting shoved into the suits. I just think that that would be really creepy if you heard what went into what your ultimate fate could be. I think that hearing it would really conjure up some horrifying mental images without it being too graphic to actually look at or revealing too much. Something I always thought was really really scary was that which cannot be seen and hearing it but not seeing it, well, you know. So anyways, now I wanted to go into some story and setting type stuff and one big thing I really want to see in Five Nights at Freddy 2 is more story. I absolutely love the subtle way that they introduced the story in the first game, but as someone who has completely fallen in love and is mildly obsessed with the lore, I'd love to see more, in maybe a less subtle way. Hell, if you overhaul the graphics system, maybe you can include some cutscenes that show some of the things that happened, like old security feeds maybe, as something you can unlock. One big way that I thought maybe you could have more story is to perhaps have this next game as a prequel to the first one. Now one thing I thought would be really cool is if you did a prequel where you play right after the murders happened. A really popular headcanon right now is that the security guard was the person who killed the children. So perhaps you were the first security guard to get hired after that one was busted. This way it would help reveal uh, some of the backstory since the backstory uh, is much more recent events. It's not something that happened a few years ago. It's something that happened like a week ago. Now I'm assuming they don't do that. I have some settings for where I'd like to see a new Five Nights at Freddy's game. And the first one is like a bigger version of Freddy's. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria was basically Chuck E. Cheese with only the animatronic section. So I'd like to see like maybe a more realistic version of Chuck E. Cheese. Something with an arcade section, play structures, maybe even a generator room that you have to like really keep watch on so they don't affect the power, so they don't beat on the generator and drain your power. Now all of the other setting ideas are not pizzeria type places, so I was thinking about how the other animatronics would get corrupted, and assuming the headcanon that the animatronics are possessed by the children who were killed at Freddy Fazbear's, well, I guess it's not really a headcanon since the developers said that that's pretty much what happened, but I digress. I got to thinking that the animatronics uh, would be sold to wherever the new place is, or taken to wherever the new place is, and the spirits that haunt in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza would follow the animatronics into their new home. You know, perhaps there were more kids that were killed at Freddy Fazbear's than just the ones we know about. And the new spirits who don't already possess one of the pre-existing animatronics would possess other animatronics. Like, when Freddy Fazbear's was closed, uh, maybe they'd find, like, new bodies who didn't match the original five, and those would be the spirits that would possess these other animatronics. And before we go into the uh, different setting ideas I had, I do want to say that I would love to see some new animatronics thrown in the game. Don't get me wrong, as much as I love the four that are already there, uh, five if you include the Golden Freddy, I would really like to see some new animatronics. Personally, I'd really like to see like a penguin animatronic, but that's just because I fucking love penguins, or maybe like a panda or something, but that's just me. Anyways, on to the different setting ideas. So, one that I saw quite a bit on Reddit was setting the next game in an old amusement park. I always thought that amusement parks at night were really creepy and there's a big reason that you see so many old amusement parks and so many B-movies because they're really off-putting at night. Having the animatronics wandering around through a bunch of creepy old rides and food stands and maybe even a, ha a haunted house attraction 
I think that that would be really creepy. In addition to that that I saw on Reddit was maybe have the amusement park um, like up here or something so that way you have the atmospheric sounds of the ocean kind of distracting you and the creaking of the old pier. Uh, just really atmospheric stuff that I feel would add to it. Another setting idea, and I'll admit that this one's kind of overused in uh, horror these days, but I still think it would really work, is if you had the animatronics in an old factory type setting. Like perhaps this is where the animatronics were made in the first place, or the old animatronics from Freddy Fazbear's got sent here to be reprogrammed and repackaged and sent out somewhere else. Another idea I really really liked was having the animatronics in a gated community neighborhood type place. Like, after the closing of Freddy's, the animatronics would escape the restaurant and get loose in the neighborhood or some shit, and you play the neighborhood watchman. And the final idea that I saw thrown around was maybe putting the animatronics in a junkyard. Obviously, after Freddy Fazbear's Pizza uh, closed down, they wound up getting thrown out. And the animatronics are wandering around this junkyard until uh, the fifth night, where their power drains and they are quote-unquote killed. You know, maybe they're not actually dead and that'll lead to an interesting twist toward the end of the story but that's neither here nor there one way or the other a huge thing for any of these settings is i want for the setting to be bigger as much as i loved the creepy claustrophobic really small feeling of the first game with a sequel especially a sequel to a game that blew up like this, you either have to go bigger and better, or there's no point in even really doing it. I mean, say what you will about the game, but all you have to do is look at Slender the Arrival. It took what made the original game so great, and made it bigger and better, with bigger locations, new enemies, blah 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 blah. It still kept the vibe of the original, and still kept most of the gameplay elements of the original, but it added to it, it made everything bigger and better and scarier and so on and so forth. Anyways, those were just a couple ideas I saw thrown around and a few ideas that I had, so down there in the comments, let me know what would you like to see in a Five Nights at Freddy's sequel. Do you agree with any of the points I made? Do you disagree with any of the points I made? Let's have a discussion down there in the comments. That said, if you aren't going to comment, please don't be a dick about it. If you like what you see, go down there to the crotch bar and check out some of the other channels down there. Remember, if you want to buy a t-shirt, download all of my albums, which are 100% for free. Follow me on all the social media sites, but hey, most importantly, remember to like, comment, subscribe. The Brandon Brownson, signing out.